a quality start. Feel feel good about Aon's effort. Yeah, I thought Isaac pitched very, very well. You know, that was a, one of the few positives out of the day. Aon threw the ball very well, yeah. You haven't let many get away from you in the late innings like this one. What, what's your message after that? Well, there's no message. Game spoke for itself. Yeah. yeah. Coach, with a game like today and then a quick jump to over, you say on Tuesday, does it help not to have like a whole week off in between? Or I, To be honest with you, we weren't looking at who we play this coming week. That's not even on my mind right now. Colby's a guy, obviously, you got a lot of confidence in. Um, Anything you noticed that was going on today that allowed him to get hit? I mean, no, it's a tough conference. I mean, Washington State's got some guys that can hit. And so, you know, they got to him today. He's been, I think he's leading the conference in saves. It's not like it's a panic, oh my gosh, what happened to Colby Summers? I mean, the guy's leading the conference in saves and he's a rock, he's a glue, and they got to him today. So you tip your hat to the uh, to Washington State crew. Anything else that's really sticking in your craw right now other than just the final score, particularly? No. Just the... That's go. That's a hot start of the game. Kind of go cold at the end of the night. Just is that unlucky? I mean, you guys are hitting the ball hard, or is that? No, I didn't think we performed offensively today at all. I mean, you know, Drew Cali got a good swing off early. We got some runs on the board early, and then we went quiet for quite a, a good chunk of the game. It wasn't like we were squaring balls up. Didn't feel like the at bat quality was fantastic or anything like that. Um, it was a disappointing day overall. Maybe got a little comfortable with that early lead at the plate. I don't know if it was kind of, I don't know. I don't, you know, I mean, I was disappointed in what I saw after we got an early lead. Of course, you want to, you know, continue to score and just string good at-bats together is usually how we do it. And we didn't do that today, you know, and, and then we weren't able to hold the lead. So kind of a uh, double-edged sword right there. Not a, not a very fun day. How do you work on that moving forward? Is that more of a mechanical thing? Is that more of a mentality issue? Um, probably a little bit of both. Maybe some guys have some swing things going on mechanically, um, mentality wise, you know, I mean, uh, I don't know. I didn't see anybody quit, but still yet, I just didn't see the results and that can be frustrating in the game of baseball. It's a humbling game. On a positive note, Aon, like you mentioned before, it's a strong start. Mm -hmm. What did you see from him specifically? It looked like he was really tunneling his slider and his sinker really well. He was just really good and it's disappointing we couldn't get him a win. Yeah. Isaac pitched very well. We had a quality start and so, you know, uh, there's been some complaints about, well, we haven't gotten quality starting, but good relief work. And now today was the first time it's been pretty much flipped, which is uh, something new for us. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just a matter of wins and losses, and it wasn't a good day. The, squ the switch from Cromwick to Scallion, was that more of an offensive or de defensive substitution? I didn't hear the question. I'm sorry. The switch from Cromwick to uh, Scallion there late in the game, was that more of an offensive or defensive change that we wanted to see um no i mean jack it was a defensive switch at the end of the game you know we we do the same thing um with just putting our best defense out there when we have the lead and we've been consistent with that all year thanks, thanks. Appreciate it. all right